What is going on guys? It is Tyler and welcome to another episode of the Keyblade Master Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about a couple things and let's get jumping right into it. First of all, I want to go ahead and say if you haven't seen my first podcast, I divided it up into three parts. Definitely recommend you guys go check it out if you are new and you haven't done so already. Be sure to subscribe if you are enjoying the podcast and all that good stuff and be sure to drop a like if you do enjoy it. But let's get jumping in in today's topics today. I wanted to talk about a couple things, and the first is going to be Transformers The Last Night, and <laughs> I want to go ahead and say that I was able to see it. It wasn't as bad as every critic is saying. I mean, there are some things wrong with it, and I'm going to keep this spoiler free, so just a heads up. I'm just going to give you guys my general consensus of it, what I thought of it, and, you know, just like throw out some couple, a couple of facts, but... It, let's just, like, okay, let's just start out with the facts first. It didn't do too well in the box office, which I was very surprised with because it's a Transformers movie, and I was thinking it was going to do really well, you know, just because it has Transformers on it, has Michael Bay in it, or Michael Bay, Michael Bay's name on it, it's going to do good. But it actually only made, this weekend, as of the 25th, it only made $68.4 million, which didn't even surpass $100 million to its to its predecessors, such as Age of Extinction, which I think, yeah, yeah, Age of Extinction made a hundred million dollars opening weekend over that, more than that. So, yeah, it didn't do too well, and I was really surprised by that. And after seeing the movie, I could kind of understand, but I was still thinking, you know, okay, it's Transform, people are gonna see it, but no, it actually didn't do as good as I would have thought. As of now, it has a fifteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes, and I saw that going in, and I knew that, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a chance. Let's just do it. But what I'm gonna give you guys my kind of like explanation as to why it was bad i don't think it was horrible but there was just a lot of continuity errors that i saw it was just some of the the dialogue was just weird there's a scene in the beginning i'm not going to say what it is but it didn't even need to be there you know it there was certain stuff like that what i will say is this though there is an actor from age of extinction who is in this movie but is playing a totally different character not going to say who, just to kind of let you guys experience that if you guys want to go see it. But, so right there, if you have an actor who played in the movie before, and this, this is the same series, by the way, too. Same series. And he, you got him playing a, a totally different character. It, come on now. That was really weird. But, yeah, stuff like that. The action scenes were really good. I mean, I've always been a fan of Transformers, uh, especially the action scenes. They were really, I mean, I, see, I liked them. I didn't think they were bad. You know, they're bunch of cgi you know all that good stuff but they weren't bad some of the fight scenes were really good i thought that they could have been you know they could have elaborated on that a bit more but people were also arguing with me that there was too much fighting scenes there wasn't enough story which the story was there but it wasn't it wasn't what people just people didn't like it people did not like the story from what i've heard people said it was like cop out it was just like dumb heard all this kind of stuff you know but it is what it is i to kind of sum this up i didn't mind the movie it wasn't horrible but it wasn't the greatest of all time if i had to give it a score i would give it like a five out of ten i would go see it you know it, it, like i said if, if you're a transformers fan and you like the film you like all the films or whatever definitely go see this one i'm gonna go ahead and say this now the second one is probably my least favorite one, and I think I looked on Box Office Mojo a few minutes ago before recording this, but Revenge of the Fallen has the highest gross of all the movies, which I was really surprised about. But it is a sequel to the Transformers movie, so I can kind of understand that. But I do give The Last Night a 5 out of 10. Not, not horrible. Not the greatest. Worth a watch. There's some people, I, I think I, there was one person I know who actually really enjoyed it. Maybe you guys will if you guys go see. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out if you guys want to. If you guys want to wait on DVD, you know, I would I would actually recommend that. But if you are wanting to, see, if you're willing to just sit through and see why people are just calling it out so bad, yeah, go ahead and check it out. It is definitely worth the watch. So moving away from movies, let's go move on to video games again, which was the topic of like my first podcast. But I had to go ahead and talk about this because it was on my mind. And as a Call of Duty player, I have to mention this. So today, Modern Warfare Remastered came out as a standalone game. I knew it was going to happen. 
it happened, I would say, around this time, the summertime, when, you know, people are out of school, buying new games. There's really, at this point, there's really nothing out. There's nothing coming out in the next couple of weeks, I think, that's like, that's like huge AAA. So this game coming out, you know, it's going to get sales. But there are some things that I wanted to mention. Before I go into that, Modern Warfare Remastered Standalone is $39.99, so 40 bucks, And... According to a bunch of different sources, one being Polygon, I was qu questioning this before I kind of dwelled into what's included, what's going to be in this Modern Warfare Remastered standalone, how much is it, and all this. I was answering all these questions and looking on, looking at these articles or whatever, and I finally came up to this one that said, okay, now pay attention to this, guys. The variety map pack that we got for Modern Warfare Remastered, that was already skeptical enough. The map pack that was already so skeptical that people were paying an increased price for than what they paid, like when the map pack was like a first thing, you know? Yeah, the variety map pack, according to Polygon, is not included in the standalone game. I repeat myself. The variety map pack is not included in the standalone version of Modern Warfare Remastered. The game is $39.99. That bugs me. <laughs> now look. I already have the game, so it's it's whatever. But the fact that there are people who don't own it, who didn't feel the need to put the extra money into Infinite Warfare, the ones who didn't already get the game when it was just a digital game and you had to get it with Infinite Warfare, people are going... Pe the thing is, like people are going to buy it. It's... It's it's gonna happen. There are there's an audience out there who's going to buy the game because they didn't want to pay money for Infinite Warfare. They didn't they probably didn't want to pay money for Infinite Warfare to begin with. They want to go ahead and they want to get it now. The fact that this game is forty dollars, it's forty dollars, which to me, I mean, I guess I could understand for a remaster. It's it's appropriately priced, but when I found out that this does not include the variety map pack. I was a little bit upset. And like I said before, I own it. I got the variety map pack, you know, because I just wanted to try it out. It came with the supply drops, you know, it was kind of worth it for me. But there was still that whole skepticism, um, the controversial thing of like, you know, okay, this map pack shouldn't even be a thing. It's way too overpriced. It's not worth it. And it, it just wasn't what people wanted it to be. Then I find out it's not included in the standalone game of Modern Warfare Remastered that wasn't even confirmed to be like an actual thing until like maybe a week ago. That's a bit, ugh, I, I'm not a fan of that. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Let me know if you're, if you think the price is appropriate for the standalone game. I, I think it's, I think, I thought it was good up until I realized that you don't get the variety map pack included. I thought that was just the worst thing they could have done. Honestly, if they would have made this a $50 game, included the variety map pack, it would have been a bit worth it. They would have had to include, for, for this price to be worth it, for this game to be worth it, I should say, it should have been $49.99, variety map pack included, 10 rare supply drops, that whole the whole nine yards with that. So basically, you got the variety map because, as far as I know, that's the only map pack that's coming out for it. There's gonna, there's not gonna be any more coming out, I, as far as I know. But yeah, they should have made it, forty nine ninety nine, Modern Warfare Remastered, the game, campaign, multiplayer, all that, variety map pack included, along with ten rare supply drops. That to me would have been the best thing they could have done, and people who don't own the game would have flocked to it. Of course, there would have been the people who say, oh, you know, it's still $50 for a remaster. That's not even a new game. Uh, then that would be a different, that'd be a different argument. I would argue for that. I, I, that's what I think they should have done. But unfortunately, that is not the case. The game is $39.99 out now. Go ahead. You know, uh, is it worth it? I want to go ahead and answer this question now if it's worth it or not. The thing is, I honestly don't. I really don't think it's worth it. I would honestly not even worry about it it's it doesn't even seem unless you're a huge fan of the series like i am 
I wouldn't recommend buying it because it doesn't seem worth it at this point. The fact that you have to pay $40 up front, then another $15 for the map pack doesn't make any sense because the people who were buying this game are going to be buying it for campaign, you know, of course, because this is one of the best campaigns, I, you know, in my opinion. But they're going to be, after the campaign, they're going to be playing multiplayer, you know? It's that, pack, the Call of Duty package that's become so staple in the series ever since, you know, multiplayer was like, like became like a big thing, you know? And it's not worth it because people are going to have to put up to $55, $55 into a remastered game that came out way back when. It doesn't seem worth it to me. However, it is out. I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. And I'm a huge Call of Duty fan, as you guys know. I just I just don't see... I don't I don't see why this is... I, I, this is not worth it to me. <laughs> and I hate to keep rambling on about it, but if you guys want my opinion, it's not worth it. If you guys do not own Modern Warfare Remastered or Infinite Warfare, the best thing for you to do is to get... I think it's the... $80, I can't remember the name, there's all the names, there's, there's so many names for like the collector's editions or whatever, the $80 edition that came with Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered is probably the best bet you can get, if that's the, I think it's still, it's probably still available, I think, the le- it was Legacy Edition, that's what it was called, that's worth it, that's more worth it than the standalone game, that's in my opinion though, what do you guys think, let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on Modern Warfare Remastered, the whole thing. And also, go ahead and let me know what you guys thought of Transformers of last night. If you guys were able to see it, let me know what you thought. I kind of am curious to, to hear everyone's opinion on that because Transformers of last night, I feel it's it's a mixed. It's one of those movies I feel that critics just slammed and audiences, you know, some audiences, you know, tolerated it. And I'm one of those people. I'm like, you know, it's not. It wasn't. It wasn't a horrible movie. You know, for a general viewing, it was actually pretty good. You know, the fighting scenes were good. The story was a bit weak and all that good and all that stuff. But, you know, like I said, Transformers last night, solid five out of ten. Not the worst. Definitely not the best. Modern Warfare Remastered. Is it worth it? It did. No, it's it's not worth it. That's going to go ahead and conclude today's podcast. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you did enjoy, if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more podcasts and all that good stuff. Um, I will be doing podcasts twice a week because I feel that, you know, there's just so much to talk about. And I mean, this is two topics and I went on for, it's about 13 minutes, you know. So, so yeah, I'm going to be doing two of these a week. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Let me know what you think of the podcast down below. For some of these, I will try to get some guests on there and I'm, literally just wanted to go ahead and throw this out there as well i did just to get discord for the first time and i signed up made an account did all that so i'm working on creating a group so if you guys are interested once i get all the information you know set up and all that working and popping and locking i will definitely let you guys know go ahead and for the discord information good segue go ahead and follow me on twitter and like my facebook fan page links are always in the description below so you guys can keep up with you guys can keep up with what's going on on my channel uploads all that good stuff and i wanted to go ahead and finish out this one by saying kingdom hearts is coming guys but i've been kind of working on getting this podcast like established and working on topics and you know and editing the other three that i did but yeah, it's, it's going to be coming, and I'm working on like a more solid upload schedule. So yeah, but that's going to do it for today's podcast. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, peace out. <laughs>